Yes, we are destroying my truck. What's up machine freaks and good morning. We're not going anywhere in the Duramax. I am just sitting in the Duramax to give you guys an introduction. I'm going to replace the headliner today. As you can see, it's kind of saggy maggy and it's no good. Nothing's good when it's saggy, you, usually. This is unacceptable. It's also got some dirty spots in it. And the guy that I bought this truck from said that the previous owner smoked in it, so I'm assuming that's why everything's breaking down, but I'm not completely sure. But before it gets too much hotter, let's just tear into this thing. The sun is directly above me right now. Dark colored vehicles are slightly hotter than lighter colored vehicles. Something about physics and stuff. I know what you're probably thinking. You're probably thinking, Dalton, just go grab a drill, it'd be quicker. I agree, but uh, I'll just run it. Not too shabby. I had to move my passenger seat so I could move this thing right here. And this, these three bolts hold this holy shit handle, I guess. So I have that to take off, that one to pull out, that one to pull out, and then this one to pull out. I've owned this truck for about a year and a half now and I have yet to test out the DVD player. This thing does have a DVD player, but I'm usually up there and not back here. Not only have I not used the DVD player, but I also have not removed it. So this is gonna be interesting. I managed to get the DVD player out. It was kind of confusing and I went online to try to figure out what the hell to do. Unfortunately, there were no other YouTubers that have done this procedure, at least that I could find. So uh, nobody was of help. So I just kept tinkering with it and I finally got it without breaking it. So much room for activities back here. Oh, oh wow. I see top. All right, I believe I have it completely disconnected. Now my question is, how do you get it out of this thing? I thought this was going to take me like 20 minutes to take out. It's been taking much longer than that. I gotta have to, I'm gonna have to do some research. I have no idea how to do that. <sighs> Jake the Toilet Snake has come and made an appearance at my house. Uh, we're taking this headliner out. Something very drastic has to happen in order for this. Uh, let's try to, let's put it in right here, Jake, and go down this corner. Oh yeah, baby! Oh, we got it! <laughs> We're working up a sweat. My goodness. All that for a freaking headliner. Only on 3D machine. <laughs>
over this stupid thing. Without any further hesitation, I'm going to get to this headliner as soon as possible. Saying that, let's get right into it. I just want to state, if you're not a patient person, you never want to do a headliner in your life because it is a very, very time consuming and patient project. That is for sure. I was literally dripping with sweat because I was concentrating so much and trying to avoid getting any creases or anything like that. And black unfortunately shows everything, every single defect. It looks good. We're going to stab it in the truck right now. It's nine o'clock at night, you can barely see me. We're wrapping up shop, we're just cleaning things up. We did manage to get the window in, which is really, really good. Unfortunately, there was no upload yesterday because of this, so hopefully we can get back on to the video every day schedule. I hope you guys enjoyed this 3D Machines production. Until tomorrow, 3D Machines out.